Hello everyone, welcome back to Quick Coding Bytes. In this video, we will install the bit slash std c++.h header file in the correct location so that Visual Studio 2019 can detect it. Because it isn't a standard header file, it doesn't come directly installed with the compiler. But because it automatically includes some of the most important actual header files, it is nice to have. So first, you're going to go to the following link. Um, so let me open up Google. Uh, you're going to go to the following link. I'm going to put this link uh, in the description box below so you can quickly grab it from there. So this is just a, a gist on GitHub, which has the file. Um, I actually want to point out some of the good header files that actually includes. So if you're into algorithmic programming and you do a lot of programming contests, it has pretty much every data structure, pretty much every header file that you would need. So this is really, really nice to have as you don't have to separately include any of the file. So you're going to go to download zip. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Um, let's open this up. We don't need the browser anymore. Let's extract it. All right, and so here's the file. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut it, bring it to my desktop, and let's just quickly delete these two folders. They, we don't need them anymore. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new folder, and you're gonna name it bits. Just like bits slash stdc++ .h, you're gonna name it bits. Um, you're gonna Cut it and paste it. So now you have a folder which is bits, and then inside bits you have stdc++.h. And next, you're going to go to where your Visual Studio is installed because now we have to add it to a specific location in your Visual Studio uh, installation process so that you put it in the VC Tools include folder. So if you installed it with the base uh, configuration so you didn't change where you installed it, um, it would be in C. Uh, program files x86 you're gonna go to Microsoft Visual Studio then you're gonna go into 2019 community then you're gonna go to VC next you're gonna go to tools then you're gonna go to MS VC you're gonna click on you may have multiple folders but you're gonna have to pick the one that has all of these files correctly and then you're gonna go to include and so this is exactly where we need to put the folder. So let's um, let's go here. I'm gonna cut from here. We're gonna paste here, and it's gonna ask for administ administer permission, ad administrator permission. So you're gonna add it there. And um, as you can see, it's on now. So now let's say if we were to go back to Visual Studio, you can see it still has the squiggly sign, but if we were to build this again, it correctly built. The squiggly line went away. So if we start without debugging, again, we see hello world. So yeah, this is going to be a really quick video. I just wanted to sh throw it out there because some of the directions online are a little complicated. But stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.